We are here today to check out some more cricket. But should we just call it like Cricket Tuesday or something like that? <laughs> cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. It's so true though. Okay, well first so of all, true. Mitch Johnson, Brett Lee, MS Doney, with all that boring stuff out of the way, this is a very important, <laughs> momentous occasion. Hello, Boring View Nation, Gabe and Nick, and we are here today to bring you guys another installment of Cricket, Cricket Tuesday. Tuesday, and I'll tell you right now, I am super stoked. I got my West Indies hat on right now. My wow. West Indies pulled out a miracle victory, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the kind of stuff you build on. This is why you love cricket, you know what I mean? And we've seen some great cricket and great cricket performances, like in the last couple of weeks here, obviously, India at GABA, that was an all-time classic, you know what I mean, going down for the history books. And and this, to me right now, Nick, is not as big, obviously, won't be spoken of in the light of or in the same vein as India at GABA. But then again, we're talking about a West Indies team who has really struggled lately. So for in, in that context... You know what I mean? It being the West Indies, the West Indies being able to run, you know, 395. What a historic chase. I'm just so pumped about cricket right now. And, and, and oh, Nick, let everybody know what we're going to be reacting to today. Yeah, and before I do that, I just got to say, you know, all um, rivalries aside, I was nothing more than so excited for the West Indies and the West Indies fans because you're right. Maybe not as big as India, Australia. But in the context, in the situation, just as big. Historic chase. We're talking about, you know, debut debutants from Donner and from Myers. Myers getting 210. I mean, Ooh. if you're a West Indies fan, you're super excited. I remember Instagram Rennell when they were down like uh, 100 runs, 130 runs with like 19 overs. I said, hey, at least they'll get the draw, it looks like. No, they went for the win. That was huge. I was nothing but happy. Um, no bitterness whatsoever because it's it's fantastic. And like you said, the West Indies, the fan base needed that. And when you got those two debutants doing that, that just tells you the future is bright. So that's awesome. Today, we are talking about something a little different than that, obviously. We're talking about a man named Jeff Thompson. And Jeff Thompson, I, we got a request. And I don't remember who it was because honestly, Gabe, I had seen it a little while ago. And I don't know what video it was on. But they said, you guys got to check out some Jeff Thompson stuff. This guy was amazing. And it wasn't the first request we had on this guy. Me and Jody did a re little reaction to a story told, I can't remember his name right now, but the, the funny guy or whatever who went against him and got hit in the family jewels, right? Ooh. And um, that's like our only experience with Jeff Thompson. But let me tell you a little bit about this guy. This guy is highly touted as one of possibly the fastest bowlers of all time, all right? And it's tough because he played a long time ago. His heyday was in the 70s and the 80s. Right. But let me give you some examples of how he is um, quite possibly the fastest bowler ever. It said one time in December 1975, um, West Indies at the Waka, he was timed with a release speed of 160, almost in a half KMH. And it's funny because it says they timed that using highly accurate, high-speed photosonic cameras. I love the highly accurate. I'm getting this off Wikipedia so we know that people can doctor that a little bit. But highly accurate from 1975. Can we get some of this, that on the DRS for crying out loud? <laughs> I'm not sure how accurate it was from 1975. But when I hear 160, that's crazy. And I know you love yourself some speed. Let me get to this other point right here. We have had, according to this article here, there are so many people that consider him the fastest who faced him. Uh, we're talking about Sunil Gavaskar reckons that he's the fastest um, over his career for 20 years. Clive Lloyd regards right. him as the fastest. Michael Holden himself, who's also considered a very fast bowler, considered him to be an extremely fast bowler in his prime, believes him to be the fastest he ever saw. He ever saw, excuse me. Same with Jeffrey Boycott. And I think, if I remember, because I read this article yesterday, I believe Viv Richards as well. And it said, yeah, it says right here that he rates him as the fastest he ever saw. And it says that Viv Richards' opinion counts for a lot. 
as he famous as he faced almost all the fast bowlers from the 1970s and 1980s, some of the fastest of all time. So this guy's got the speed, right? This guy bowled. He's got himself several fifers, and we're going to be looking today at one of those fifers in 1975. And the description, all Robo Linda says, is speed, speed, speed. Gabe, I know that pumps you up. You know, <laughs> that breaks down to the, about 99 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, right? Which is gas, even in today's, I mean, there's very few guys in Major League Baseball that can throw 100. You know, we were pumped the other day, Trey at 16 just hit 84. You know, in context, kids are still, you know, trying to get into their 80s, 81, 82, 83 towards the, the it, it should be the goal at that age. He's already a mile an hour above that. And that's still for a right-hander, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, slightly above average. But when we're talking about pros and the majors, you got a couple guys that will hit 100 here and there, you know. But Nolan Ryan, that's why I believe it. Nolan Ryan in the 70s, er, er, late 70s, early 80s was hitting 100. So you got those guys that are outliers that even back then could throw 100. And Nolan Ryan, it, it, I, rem- I remember watching and thinking, this guy throws two pitches. When I was a kid, this guy throws two pitches. I don't get it. You don't get it until you actually step in there. Yo, oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you got 5,000 strikeouts later. You know what I mean? Because you got to gear up for the fastball. And once you get the timing down, then they can drop that uh, uh, a change up or slow ball on you. And, and and cricket, it's even harder because then you got the variation of the bounce. You know what I mean? And, and you just mentioned about how he, uh, he uh, took somebody's jewels off one time. Ooh, think about that. If you're a batter and you know he's throwing that hard, you're also thinking about life and limb while you're up there, especially if you're a young guy. Hey, I may want to have kids. You know what I'm saying? This cup's only going to protect so much. <laughs> Just say it, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, man, I, I can't wait to see it. And right now, I think maybe that's why I'm also enamored. A couple people keep to keep, keep disagreeing with me, which is fine. But listen, show I, I, proof is in the pudding. Over the last year, Jopper Archer has been one of the best bowlers in cricket, period. Whether you talk about Tess, ODI, or IPL, he's been one of the best bowlers. Again, in this in, uh, India series, you know, he put India on the defensive right away. Two right. early wickets. Early wickets, cousin. Keep saying he's overrated. I don't care who. Listen, he puts up, but it's his pace. And with Jaffa Archer, it's it's almost effortless. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guarantee you, if he threw more body into it and his delivery were more violent, Maybe he wouldn't have the control he has. Maybe he might, you know what I mean? He could lead himself to get injured, but he's still got some oomph that he could throw in there. You know what I'm saying? You know, some guys are just full max effort, and you're like, oh, he's throwing every ounce of his body into that. Look at Jaffa Archer's run-up. It's not even that long. You know what I'm saying? He's not doing that. So you know that he's got a little bit more in there. Uh, My point is, though, that fast bowlers are so much fun to watch, and him being one of the fastest, that's probably why I've become enamored with him. And, man, I can't wait to see this video on Thompson to see what that looked like back then. But more importantly, the batsmen will tell you. With their swings, what it looked <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It was the awesome. timing, looking back like, what? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. I'm super excited because this is 1975. I don't know how Robolinda found this. This guy is a, is a wizard for crying out loud. I think this is the oldest, oldest reaction we've ever reacted to. We're going to jump right into it. It's, I, I can imagine it's going to be tough to catch the speed because of the footage is that old. But, hey, let's go ahead and give it a try, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know if you love Cricket Tuesday. And, hey, new world record for us. It's almost 10 minutes until we get to the video. So, you know, that is how, <laughs> that is how it is sometimes. Oh, man. All, All right, right, brother. You ready to go? Yeah, let, it, let me know. In three, two, one. It's to be Jeff Thompson, the ball from the Pavilion End. Thompson not given the new ball. Today, Walker gaining preference there. A sensible move from Chapel after Thompson's problems yesterday with the swing. That's him right there. It's always been a school of thought that he's a better bowler after a couple of overs have been bowled so that he doesn't have to use the slippery ball. Certainly when he bowled from the same end yesterday, bowled with great fire. Imposed many problems for the England batsmen. Man, look at those slips. Dennis. Look at the stare down from the batsman. Exactly the same field. What's interesting is. Yeah, 
What do they got? Five slits back there in the gully? Maybe six? Um, what's interesting <laughs> is... And, and they got a guy at, at short leg there. It's They were mentioning about how he doesn't do well with the new ball. You know what I mean? Which is just interesting to me. Yeah, that's wild, right? Oh, what a good oh. A little bit oh. slower, and it looked to me as though he deliberately bowled a quickish off break. <laughs> Certainly a slower ball. Mike Dines. He totally fooled that guy. by Jeff Thompson, and I fear that that may be Mike Dines's last innings as captain of England. Wow. 18 for two as Dines leaves the field. That's not good. And here's how it no. Saying that this one was an off break, this one was a slower ball, and it totally fooled him. It just got through the gap. It might even have flicked the outside of the pad. Even if that was a slower ball, he was still slow getting to that. Dines leaves the field. Man. Timing, man, is such a tough thing. Crazy thing is about England and India, they were showing a stat. Boomer, he was the he was throwing it the hardest, the fastest. But he was also the variation. He was throwing at the slowest of those faster bowlers. So he was giving you a 146 or a 98. That's just crazy. Mix it up. Mix it up. Especially on that flat pitch you're playing on. I like how... Uh, I like how... This video is actually really good. The quality. For 1975. Are you kidding me? It's unbelievable. What do you notice about the batsman game facing a fast bowler? What do you notice there? No helmet. The nut. Oh my gosh, these guys. Hoping for great things. That's, that's crazy. I, that's when men were happen. men. <laughs> In the old days, when men were men. Now I know what you guys are gonna say. They didn't have the helmets back then. That's just crazy. I mean, I'm guessing they didn't have the helmets. Ooh. So the sound's a little delayed, but still, you're right. The video's not too bad for 1975. This was pre-Nick, my friend. That is the mark of it's pre-Gabe, too. And I'm an old head. <laughs> no Russian hurry about playing that. He was there in plenty of time. This guy seems quite fidgety. I love it. A little no more in him. Oh, what a good delivery. Oh, man. Ooh, Savage. Yeah, talk about the reaction, right? Very fast and a very, very big leg that shows you how fast he is, that reaction right there, where he just had no chance. Who could have done much about that? He did pretty well What's crazy is, look how small he is, Nick. He's a slight dude, man. In his first test if I've learned one thing watching sports, you There's cannot judge it by the size of the man, man. These guys, I mean, Joffrey Archer, right? Yeah, but he's a tall I mean, he's guy. He's got the, yeah, he's tall. But still, these guys are able to generate serious speed. Just make sure you catch that as a wicket keeper. We got a little more of a celebration for Jess Thompson on that one. Jeez. He's doing a little manicure in there to make sure no little pebbles give him extra bounce there. Oh, that was a nice defensive shot right there. He reacted just in time. How do you even get a bat on that, dude? So you know what's crazy about Jeff Thompson is they said... In his heyday, this guy would bowl a full toss to the sight screens in the back. When he'd bring it in and the, and the batter wouldn't offer to it. Full toss to the sight screen or maybe a one bounce. That's just insane, man. Yeah, dude. Slight guy, man. I'm going to make a comparison right now. He reminds me of Tim Limsico. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch even his delivery. Oof. 
Jeez. there. <laughs> yeah, Tim Linskin, that's a good one because he has that, like, where he turns his head so much and almost back, and he reaches all the way back. Tim Linskin, famous for practicing with picking up that dollar bill off the ground, whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't throw on that delivery. So that's the 20 second time he's reached 50 in Test Match Cricket. They got one less slip back there, but they still got quite a few. Keith Fletcher. Jeez. Now. No short leg this time. And that a little edge. There you go. Put down by difficult about the catch. Look at the pork chops, man. I love it. And after a very good innings, Fletcher is out. Walters it, picking it up the second time. This well, makes me jealous. Catch <laughs> so Lily has broken through again with rather an indifferent stroke this time from Keith Fletcher, who's been playing pretty well. So, Doug Walters, well, making the easiest of catches in the slips cordon look difficult to get rid of Keith Fletcher. I love he the, was a the graphics, wicket, man. Though, as Fletcher threatened to spark and England revival after being four for 52 at one stage. The card at the end of day three wasn't much better than a day earlier. Five for 93. Graham Gooch bagged a pair on debut, a seven ball duck in the second innings to go with his three ball in the first. What a yeah, way to seven start. ball duck. With 165 Jeez. more needed to make Australia bat again, only rain or a seismic shift underneath the British Isles would prevent England from going down 1 0 in the four match series. Dude, those number graphics right there, those are better effects than we have on CFA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's Thompson, by the way. That Lally was probably one of the slower uh, short leg catches right there where it kind of floated in the air a little longer for him. Tragedy for England. Seven for Still not super easy, but now. made a little more doable. Probably flicked the glove and bounced away to Gilmore at short leg. Thompson, the bowler, breaking through in this first over after lunch. Dennis Lilly bowled uh, for a long time before lunch without success, and Thompson didn't have a bowl. Chapel brought him on straight after the luncheon interval, and he's broken through, getting Dennis Amos four five. This is uh, how he was dismissed in the first over before lunch. The first one Thompson has bowled today, shortish. Oh, look at that! It's kind of right. I mean, how does it make that little trajectory? Is that like a corner edge? It looked like it might have hit his his, his glove. Because if it would have hit the bat, oh. I think it would have gone further, right? There you go. That makes more sense. That's safe. Over the Ooh. next steps, four runs. That's why you have those slips right, right there. I mean, that was just a little out of his reach. Total on to 126 for seven. Takes John Snow off the mark, gets him off the pair. Thompson now to Alan Knott. Jeez. There was a little full toss. Oh, oh for wow. an edge. That really wow. At a tremendous pace. And Mikoska, who is That's impressive. That ball has some hair on it, my friend, as it was floating there, full there. toss. He had no Not chance on that one. For 38, caught Mikoska, bowled Thompson. Thompson takes his fourth wicket. And the England total Ooh, that was pretty wide too, right? Yeah, it was a, it was a little bit wide, man. But again, I wonder how that would ha help have the wrist feel when you get the vibrations off, well, here it trying is. to full so extend on something like that, and just deadens it. One of the six strong. No, actually, it wasn't as wide as you would thought. It's pretty wide, though. I mean, for someone to offer at that, I mean, why offer at that? You know, left hand. Just let it go past you. Yeah, I mean, I I maybe even get a buy out of it. I think that's where the speed kind of throws you off, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're right. It, 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 was missing, it was missing the stumps, you're right, and this is test. You just let that go, but... Again, I think it did have some hair on it. It had a little bit of uh, movement on it, even though it was a full toss, fast pace. So, Tom Snow taking three runs there. <laughs> Dude, look at look at the uh, look at some of the the audience members. Now maybe those are media members, but I see some guys in suits and ties, man. 1970s, brother. Most disappointed when he was a judge. Oh yeah. In the first innings. Sporting events, you know, were formal things, brother. Looking. The crowd's pretty sparse. I get its test. It's almost like it's COVID days right there. <laughs> Was that, give me a body bag? <laughs> oh. 
right behind John Stowe quickly on his way. Thompson picking up his fifth wicket of the innings. Ooh. And John Snow, Court Marsh, Bolt Thompson for 34. It definitely uh, seems like these guys the are very uncomfortable nine. facing this guy. Like that yeah. shot right there, it wasn't really the most aggressive there, shot. Let's see the wicket. replay here. Maybe I'm wrong. Thompson, yeah, it's just, you know. It looks like not he was really a at all. Yeah, Too trying to flick marsh, it, man. Yeah. And I think that happens sometimes when it's so fast, you're just trying to, like, pick up it, and you're just, oh, there we go. Let me just flick it out there, and it's just like, no, he got me. That's the thing, man. You just got to get the bat on it and not take a big, big swing, and it's going to go somewhere because of the speed. But nice little fifer there. Nice little fifer for Thompson. And, um, you know, Tim Lincecum, I compared him to Tim Lincecum because he's a slight guy. And Tim Lincecum, I think he was clocked the highest, was my 97, 98. But even for that, you got to understand how impressive that was because he was such a small dude, right? He was only like 6'1", Trace taller than Tim Lincecum right now. He was like... 6'1", I think, or maybe even five, some people say he was only like 5'11", or something like that. Uh, uh, maybe a buck 60, but he could bring it. And he had that full, like like you said, you know, like, kind of like Thompson, where those are guys that are throwing everything into it. I'm interested to see how long Thompson's career is, though. And I know that people said you were talking about it earlier because – and, and did he suffer from a lot of arm injuries? Because usually slider guys that throw that hard, their frames aren't built for it, and they do suffer from a lot of injuries. So according to Wikipedia, once again, he had about a 10-year test career. He made his test debut in 70 – I'm sorry, 13 years. Made his debut at the end of 72, and then his last test was in August of 85. He had an ODI career that lasted about 10 years. He was in 51 test matches. And he had a total of 200 wickets taken. So 200 wickets taken, definitely nothing to sneeze at, right? But I think the top 24 guys all have 300. And our man is Sean Sharma from India. He's got 300 himself, according to the other website I looked at. So 200, nothing to sneeze at whatsoever. Super, super impressive. But I wanted the same thing. I wanted, I know, and I think also in my research, it said he was banned for a year. So he participated in this like uh, fast bowling competition, which of course he won. But it makes you wonder, like, yeah. So in baseball, and this is where I'm, you know, collect, connecting it, and this is where I need help in the comment section. In baseball, you have some guys who just throw straight out gas, like Gabe said. They can just throw up there 100 miles per hour. It's almost an anomaly still in these days. And the old adage is, it's from the movie The Rookie, right? He said, right. "Listen, if you, if I have a guy that can throw 98." and I don't sign them, I'm going to lose my job because it doesn't matter how accurate they are. You throw a guy that can, you have a guy that can throw 98. Let's teach him some accuracy. Let's sign him on the team, or at least in the minor leagues. So I wonder if he, 200 wickets, again, very, very impressive, not taking anything away, but I wonder why not maybe a little more because this guy's considered the fastest ever where, like you said, was it just arm being worn out? Was it a different time where it was tough to get some wickets? Was he not always a full-time – because 51 tests in 13 years, that makes you wonder, was he not always selected on the team? I'm wondering why. But if you think about it, 200 wickets, 51 tests, you're talking about four wickets every test. That's a pretty good number, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I'll take a – I'll sign up for a four for all the time, all the time. Just to let you know, just a little research. Tim Nissacum, man, I'm good. Uh, that was off the top of the head, by the way. 5'11", like I said, slight guy, 5'11". <laughs> and for baseball, that's, that you know, especially as a pitcher, that's small. 5'11", a buck 68. And I tell you right now, Steph probably soaking wet with his jersey and cleats on, cousin, because there's no way Tim Lissacum goes no buck 68. But, and the guy lasted nine years, 2007 to 2016. He didn't even go full 10 years, like I said. And the guy's a two-time Sam Young winner. Finished three times as a final. Is that's how so good I was gonna say almost a three time, yeah. But because, like I said, when you're that small and you throw that hard, you know, it's gonna take a wear and tear on your body. I guarantee you, uh, uh, 10 years as far as the test career is concerned, the limited amount, Nick, is because of the injuries. Your body can only take so much, and I mean, it's 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 honestly, it, 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 it's one of those things where it's sad that, uh, 
I don't know. We don't have better uh, 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 sports medicine doctors to help athletes take care of themselves. And, and, you know, but the reality is, man, you only got so many bullets in that arm. That's why pitching is so valuable in baseball. Even today, guys' arms go out. And, you know, if you've got a 10-year career or better, you know, throwing gas, good luck. Most guys that throw over 100 arm blows out within three or four years. And then they get Tommy John and then they get like another – four or five years it's just you know it is what it is physics i guess physics <laughs> <laughs> well i'm doing a little comparison as you're talking that's that's some great stuff right there you're totally right on lincecum doing a little bit more research so the top wicket taker is uh morali sri lankan um cricketer legend obviously he had himself like 130 matches so almost three times as much as jeff thompson but he had 800 wickets, right? Eight, that's an average of like six wickets per match. Now, he is an anomaly because he's the highest ever. A better comparison would be Stuart Broad, who we all know, obviously, current player. He's been bowling for about, in test, since he made his debut, at least 14 years. So pretty comparable. But he's got himself 140 matches. Is that correct? 144 from the last time this was updated. So even more than Morali, he has 517 wickets. So that is honestly... That's about or maybe even less than four wickets per match. So Jeff Thompson, it had to be a situation where he just wasn't always called on the main roster. And again, it makes you wonder. Now, again, I don't know the whole story. It, I know he was banned for that one year accordingly. So maybe it was that. Maybe it was health. Maybe it was like the arm, like you said. But if this guy's healthy, it makes you wonder if he was left off just because they thought they had better bowlers or as a different age. And we had these guys been doing it forever. But his stats pretty good when you compare it to someone like Stuart Broad different comparison obviously different time but I mean this guy again from what I hear is so many people's favorite or one of their favorites you got to be impressed with the speed and again I could be wrong right I could be wrong but from what it looked at the body language these guys did not look too comfortable and I could understand why and uh, again last thing I want to say hats off to those guys without wearing a helmet they probably didn't have a choice because it was a time. But like you said, these guys are men. Bro, you still, I mean, yeah, exactly. You got to go in there. You got to have some serious cojones, bro. Like, oh, man. And, and, you know, you make business decisions. You make business decisions. That's the bottom line. You know? <laughs> but, uh, oh, that was fun to watch. That was fun to watch. And, and again, great job by Robolinda. Check out his channel. He has so Please. many videos you know uh, um if you haven't already gone over there i don't know how he gets all the footage but 1975 this was great footage for 1975 wizard just, just saying but uh guys that's our video for today thanks so much if you haven't already done so make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment below to let us know who's your favorite fast bowler let us know who's your favorite fast bowler some other people we should check out any parting thoughts nick just want to say thanks again for the request for jeff thompson there's a lot of fun to watch that 1975, like Gabe said, great footage right there. And this guy was an absolute beast. This guy was a savage. Again, the sight screens, full toss, that's unbelievable. And until next time, that six runs.